so you can compare you see how the process you can compare with what we did earlier these this final product which is very little mold not in blood compared to the first one that was very messy and uh, very wasteful with a lot of bubble inside the progress is huge definitely this is the way i will do it next time and for the final product that i will deliver to the client i will definitely use this method very efficient very cost effective and uh, good result next I will, i'm going to I'm going to do a test. This time I'll use the resin. I'll mix the resin and pour that inside and see how uh, how it turns out before I proceed for the final one that I'll make for the client. But I'll do a test in here with the resin. Mix it together, pour it here, let it dry, and see what it looks like after it cures. The way the resin will look like after it cures is going to be exactly the way the chocolate will look like once the client is using it. Okay, now we got to let it fill into the shape. Now the only thing we got to do is to wait. We got to wait 18 hours for that to dry. And uh, we'll come back and, uh, and check it. So it's time now, let's see how this thing has performed. So it's been, uh, it's been a while now. Uh, I'm, I'm coming back here to check and see how it looks, how it performs after a dry. Still a little bit soft, but at this stage we can have an idea what it looks like. So this is good. We did it this time, it's successful. Uh, the resin was able to take the shape as it's supposed to do it. Let's see, you can see the contrast with it green black on. This is good. This is really successful. Uh, we completed this project so I can proceed now and uh, and, uh, and do a final mode for the client. I'm very happy with the result. Very, very happy. This is really good. This is really good. The result is perfect. The result is awesome. It's very awesome. Mm. It's good. We got our chocolate mode. It's ready now and uh, the project is completed. Okay, so I'm gonna try out some cookie molds 
with one of my old products that I used to sell with a little bit of the leftover white chocolate because I think that would be fun. And then these are pretty much dog cookie molds. I think, I think they're cute. I know I'm touching the bag a lot and you probably don't hear me, but let's check it out. Okay, right here I have the chocolate. I will pour it into the mold. I let it cool down just a bit. So I will show you the finished product. Okay, so I filled the molds. Um, I like the feeling. Oh, like the feeling of the mold, like the flexibility. My only concern, which obviously that may change, is that the mold is very, very small um, to like layer my chocolate. So let's see how it comes out and we'll go from there. Alright, so these are the molds. Um, they have settled in and cooled down. chocolate mold you can see that it definitely came out nice um a bit thin for my liking but all good for like small cake decorations on top i have four of these my family ate them 